Okay, well, the subject today is really about the advantages between Zoom and VR social networking. And uh, I'd like to just say that at, right from the start that I think there's a false equivalency being suggested here. Uh, these are apples and oranges. Uh, one isn't better than another. It's just one's better at some things than the other. And, well, given that, the question is fundamentally a comparison between distance and presence. Um, of course, presence being uh, much more effective in virtual reality than um, distance, which is uh, primarily uh, what Zoom is doing, bringing people together over great distances. But they're still distant. So therein lies the future. The Zoom is yet another iteration of the decades-old technology spawned by the advent of Skype and FaceTime. Um, but there are a number of advantages to VR that I'd like to discuss. And the number one uh, reason VR has a certain advantage is that, you know, sometimes in the morning you get a text message, you know, as I often do, from people wanting to connect. And I usually have two options. I can delay the meeting or throw a headset on and agree to have a morning coffee, you know, which I've done many times with people. Yeah. Brian, uh, quite often we get up early in the morning and we have a chat. So I jump out of bed to make a decision. I, I generally jump out of bed and have a quick look in the bathroom mirror to see if I, I've even shaved. Um, sometimes it's infinitely worse, but no problem. I have a look at my avatar and I make the obvious choice. VR over Zoom. <laughs> So, yeah, the, the second reason um, I would say is relationships because Skype or Zoom experiences feel more like you are communicating uh, to the person rather than with the person from afar. And, um, you know, in a case like this, like if I walk out onto the podium um, here in VR, you can have gestures, great warmth and com camaraderie even with ourselves. <laughs> Give us a hug, artist. Yeah. So for a sense of presence over thousands of miles, uh, VR, I think, uh, yeah, has advantages over Zoom. The third, third idea or reason is, is cleanup, really. Um, and here's where VR not only beats Zoom, but even real life gatherings. Uh, on any given day, my studio is in production mess mode. Everything out and about readily available. Not only does VR provide tidy environments 24-7, you can have, uh, you know, a totally tidy environment right away, but it's after the meeting. Unlike in real life, there's no disruption of workflow and having to clean up uh, after a meeting. Um, the fourth advantage, and I think this one's huge, is the scale. Uh, and here there's no comparison. And although 360 environments can be scrolled about with the mouse or keyboard as a remote viewer of VR content, you're grossly out of scale with the actual experience. Um, Whereas with two people in VR, you're pretty much at eye level with the person you're talking to. And uh, your hand gestures and uh, body movements are much more evident. And that's a large part of communication. Um, there's a lot of secondary signals um, that we get from communication other than just watching our, um, you know, our audio performance. Uh, a fifth uh, relatively esoteric advantage is that you have this ability in VR to teleport. 
And teleportation means that uh, you, when you're choosing a get-together in a shared environment, it can be one that suits the subject of the meeting. So here again, there's no comparison. You know, if you want to talk about astrophysics or uh, space travel, uh, having a meeting on a simulated Mars environment certainly uh, helps to reinforce the uh, subject and, and just give people a feel for what they're talking about, especially in groups. I think uh, a sixth uh, super advantage, particularly in Engage, is this ability to record meetings um, and, you know, while you can screen capture flat screen meetings that are taking place in Skype or Zoom, these are genuinely huge gigabyte recordings, okay, uh, that someone has to store. The Engage VR platform offers an infinitely more practical and alluring way to record a meeting where it's remarkably more accurate, takes up way less hard, hard drive space, it's just more fun to play it back uh, in a variety of ways. Uh, you can play it back verbatim, where it took place, or you can play it back independent of where it took place, and, and everybody can go to a meeting and you can put it literally on a table top and watch the interaction of, of how the meeting went. So that's a pretty cool uh, uh, and unusual um, advancement made in terms of communication, playback, history. No one has to take notes. And um, yeah, I think that one, that one has been very impressive. Now the, the, seventh, uh, uh, the seventh reason I, I'm kind of partial to VR, uh, and I would suggest for everyone that it's about privacy. Um, what happens in VR tends to stay in VR, okay? Uh, make no bones about that. What happens in a Zoom or a Skype or Facebook is kind of on record for pilfering keywords, phrases, and sometimes more by the corporate sponsors of those utilities. So uh, VR offers a, a measure of anonymity being essentially avatar-based. Here you're in direct communication without the filtering of other people's impressions of your actual um, physical self. In other words, you, you're not playing off of another person's racial status, their handicaps, their age, how, how they look. You know, I mean, getting back to my first point, the inconvenience of your current appearance. You know. Um, preparing for even a short Zoom or a Skype meeting can involve a lot of wasted time in prepping yourself for an HD on-screen appearance. Um, in VR, you can present a vicarious version of yourself, often appearing, you know, dressed and maybe even morphed into something that suits the subject matter or the role you need for the for the particular appearance or the circumstances of the meeting. VR is actually like getting together and talking inside the privacy of a mutual home. And, you know, bottom line, Zoom performance is required. Everyone can see you, uh, including yourself, so it's not a comfortable way to communicate. I think Zoom is more like a television personality type uh, tool where you're presenting yourself, and that's, you know, bar none, a distraction in more cases than you can imagine. And so, yeah, my, uh, yeah, yeah, so getting back to the beginning, my presentation on this subject is pretty straightforward, and I, I prepared this presentation in advance to demonstrate even the very first advantage of VR. I don't have to be here to contribute my views. This is a recording of me here.